seen quite a bit of the prestige here tonight. All the elements represented, and they are quite an intimidating group. But like I said, individually, as well as together, very dangerous. And that is all because of that man right there, Travis Banks. From Auckland, New Zealand, the home of Tony Gurria. Of course, he seems to be making the United Kingdom and WCPW his home. As Travis Banks went to the down to the final two of the Magnificent Seven match at Bulletproof, he's about to face the winner of that match. Ready to be introduced now. You have to wait. He's loading. He's still loading. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Just be patient. Wait, press, press it. Here he is, Martin Kirby. There is Martin Kirby. He won the Magnificent Seven match. And by winning that Magnificent Seven match, Martin Kirby now has a championship opportunity any time of his choosing. And you can only start to speculate when is Martin going to relinquish that contract? When is he going to sign his name? The contract is already, it, it's been sealed. It has been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When they Notarized. Sealed. It's been notarized. All Martin needs to do is sign it in the presence of a what culture official. And I'm hearing rumors that that may happen perhaps April 29th. I'm not so sure. I don't want to put at words no regrets. at no regrets at the IP per view, but Boy, oh boy, that would be a great time for Martin Kirby to hang on to well, cement his legacy. But before we get there, Martin Kirby may be the master of his own destiny as far as the championship goes. But right now, he is on the receiving end of a beating from Banks. Yeah, now, now here's a little tidbit for you, a nugget of information, that these two are former tag team partners, albeit for a short amount of time. So I wonder what they know or don't know about each other. That short time, as you say, it might be enough right now for Banks, at least, to take advantage of it. Martin's got to try to build some momentum going into his title match. Comes up at the time of his choosing, whenever that may yep. be. But right now, Martin has his hands full with the Kiwi Crusher, old Travis Banks. Well, Martin Kirby is someone who I've seen from day one. He began his career in the Trinity Center in North Ormsby against his trainer, Dragon Isu. It was a baptism of fire, and of course, it could have been an actual baptism because that place was a temple, but you're used to working in those. Hey, I see hey. what you did there. Well done. <laughs> Check that one off the list. I'm telling Vampiro on you. <laughs> and now Travis Banks controlling the arm at the wrist and the elbow. All you young fighters out there, pay attention to joint manipulation. Now pressure on the shoulder. Kirby, a wily ring veteran, oh, forward roll to alleviate the pressure, but Banks too quick there. And Kirby quick as well. Hey, Kirby. Sunset out. flip into yep. the ring, into the center of the ring. But still a two count. What? What? Oh. Missed Enziguri. And Travis Banks wanting to take this back to the outside Ooh, again. Wow. Yes, and uh, Travis Banks clearly frustrated at the loss to Kirby at the Magnificent Seven. He wanted that title opportunity so badly, and now Kirby was S-canned onto the floor, and now... But you know Banks. what? He's going to be even more frustrated if he scores the win against Kirby tonight, because still, that, that championship opportunity, that's still in Kirby's hands. Yes, but you have to believe that if Kirby goes on to challenge for the title anytime soon and wins that title, Travis Banks is, is in line for a shot, but like I said, miles to go before we sleep. That's like my fourth Robert Frost reference tonight. Maybe Banks is looking to take Martin Kirby out straight away. Senior official Steve Linsky. He's got the stripes on. That shows you what do you do, indeed. No. Oh. Oh, 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 come on, just come on. Just worry about him. Don't worry about me. Him. If anything, the longer he pays attention to you, that gives Kirby a chance there to get you his go. breath Good. back. Thank you. Matt Stryker with the assist, everyone. No, it's not that. It's just the prestige has been up my arse for quite some time. And I mean, whatever. Neither here nor there. Back to the action in the ring now, or outside of it at least. Martin Kirby and Travis Banks. Nice little palm strike to the gut. That doubles over Kirby. And now Banks is right back in control. Throws Banks. Kirby in. Of course, driven to get pinfall. Into a short whip. 
Kirby reversed it. These two are pretty evenly matched in size and in speed. I know that Kirby definitely has an experience advantage here. Which of course played perhaps into the fact that they were once tag team partners, even if just briefly. Yeah. Familiarity breeds contempt. Ask my last several girlfriends. Kirby off the top. Oh! Nobody home. Shoulders down, leg hook, hands clasped, no. Banks taking all appropriate action to try and get the three. No luck. But once again, not wasting any time. Yeah, and I talked to him, but we talk about how BT Gunn is, is unhinged. Travis Banks, for my money, may be the most dangerous member of Prestige. And, and you know, even when he got in my face right there, look, I'm not going to lie and say I'm a tough guy. A little bit intimidated. You can see the fire and the passion in the guy's yeah. eyes. And if you look at his face, you can tell that nose has been broken several times. Not afraid to get into a fight, Travis Banks. That attitude just may be pandemic within the Prestige. That's a great word. I'm going to write that down. You know, I used to be a school teacher. What happened? Uh, this whole wrestling thing. <laughs> if I could go back 18 years, I don't think I would. Thanks, is vicious, Matt Striker. Yes, and those shots to the uh, to the neck and behind the ear. That hurts. And opposing to the crowd, just again, it seems to be a prestige hey. trademark, and it works against them. A little sling blade there. A little Tanahashi for you. Kirby charging up. Spear to the gut. What's he setting up next? He ducks that clothesline. Line. Oh! For the backdrop, we saw a sunset flip earlier. Great strength Ooh. from Kirby. He can hyperextend a knee like that, and I think that might may have happened there. Nope, banks is up, throws the line, gets caught, spin through. Oh, and a oh, set out. And a modification on an X Factor. Shoulders down. Now, that cover was more on the, uh, on the stomach. Then you have to try to really get your cover on the chest and the shoulders there. Waistline, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, Kirby's... Ow. That's twice that Kirby has landed on his uh, pink panther. Oh. And the third time Kirby goes down, it could be for the three. Ooh. I like what the wrestlers are doing. They're modifying holds, modifying the X-Factor, modifying the Michinoku driver here, and it just goes to show the advancement of professional wrestling. Of course, and maybe of course, they think they know each other so well from their previous partnership that they have to change it up. They have to mix it up a little. But there is something to be said of the growth of both of these wrestlers individually after that partnership dissolved because that's where they're at right now. They aren't the same as they were. Hang on, he went for the sable bomb there and so they got the backdrop out, but they're not the same wrestlers oh, that they were when they were teaming. Cover, leg hook, hands clasped, no. Well, you're quite right about that. The evolution has led to Martin Kirby now holding that championship opportunity in his grasp. Yeah. And of course, an unlikely fan favorite here in Motherwell. Oh. Of course, he was a member of a group called the 55 in ICW. What was that all about? Was that the grade they got in school? Like, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, nice knee strike there by Kirby. Switches back up for the suplex. Legs kicking, that adjusts the weight. Slip out through, schoolboy, roll through, doesn't keep it, oh, oh thrust kick. Goodbye, goodbye says Banks, but not yet. Kirby disagrees. say oh. goodbye, and I say hello. I think Kirby might have just said goodbye to Banks with that enziguri. And now, this is the parting kiss. The Zoidberg elbow. He never ever seems to hit this move, the Grand Naniwa Crab Walk. If he hits it, it's tonight the night! Mm. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Shh, shh, shh. Banks thinks that he missed. <laughs> you know what? This is clever. This is, cl it is clever. It is very Martin Kirby. Oh, a little mockery there. I don't know. Kirby is. Uh, what if Banks is the man to hit the Zoidberg elbow as a... Let's not forget, Kirby pulling an Eddie Guerrero, God rest his soul. If Kirby's he hits not it. hurt, he's laying there in possum. Oh! <laughs> Stupid Travis. Stupid Travis, if he'd hit that elbow, that could have been his. Sable bomb. Cover, leg up. He got him. Martin Kirby rolls on. Good no regrets. April 29th will be the night. Very well, good. 
making a claim for the WCW Championship. As you say, it is notarized. It just needs signed by a lock culture official. The crowd comes alive for Martin Kirby, building momentum. His future is ahead of him as it is for all of us, and the future looks bright for Martin Kirby.